Five things every producer should know when collaborating. Know what you can bring to the table. Know how to export trackouts and MIDI files. Know how to import stems into your project. Know how to film your clips properly. And know how to sync your clips. There you go. What's up everybody, Chris Puncelon here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about five different things that every producer should know when collaborating. Number one is knowing what you can bring to the table. Are you good at building drums? Are you good at chopping up samples? Are you good at playing the keys? Um, do you have a big platform to share their music? I just feel like it's important to know what you bring to the table that way uh, when collaborating with another producer, um, it'll be beneficial for both parties. Here's an example. When RMC hit me up on Instagram to collab, I saw that he was good at playing keys. I was promoting my drum loop pack at the time and um, I saw that he had really good engagement on Instagram. So I felt like it was the right time. Um, I felt like we could both benefit from the collab and um, I genuinely liked what he was doing. So in that instance, I asked him to handle the keys portion of the beat and I was gonna handle the drums. That way I can promo my pack while um, also bringing awareness to his page. Number two is knowing how to export trackouts or MIDI files. Trackouts or stems are the individual audio files to your beat. So the drums, the keys, um, the synths, all that stuff. And the MIDI file is literally the MIDI file that uh, contains the information for all of the notes that you played for each instrument. Knowing how to export these things uh, will make the workflow for you and the other producer super fast and efficient. Also, if you're collaborating with a producer that uses the same program as you, you can also just send the project file. Just keep in mind that um, if they don't have the same VSTs and plugins as you, then um, those plugins and VSTs that they used will not be transferred over to you. Aww. To export stems in Ableton, you just select all your layers, press file, export audio slash video, change the render track to all individual tracks, and then export. Then I make a folder on my desktop, name it, and make sure to label the folder with the BPM and the key of the song. Um, and then you export it into the folder. Then if there are MIDI files that you need to export, you just select the MIDI clip and on a Mac, you just press Shift, Command, R and export, or you can just press file, then export MIDI file. And I usually like to put those in the same folder as the stems. And once you've exported um, all your stems and your MIDI files, uh, you need to compress the folder into a zip file so you can send it via WeTransfer or Dropbox. All you have to do is right click the folder and then press compress. And now that you have your zip file, you can go ahead and upload it to WeTransfer, like I said, or Dropbox or uh, Google Drive. Number three, knowing how to import stems into your program. So once a producer sends you stems to work with, you're gonna need to know how to import them into your program. If you're using Ableton and you're on a Mac, all you have to do is select all the layers, hold down command while you're dragging them into the program. That way it gets imported into individual audio files. And once you have the stems in your project, change the BPM to whatever the BPM of their project was. And now you can remove and add things as you like. Four and five pertain to uh, beat video collabs. So if you're doing a beat video collab for Instagram or Twitter, uh, or YouTube, these next two things apply to that. Number four, recording your clips properly. So whenever I do a beat video, I like to record all of the layers of the beat. Uh, that way I have different angles to cut to. So what I do is I set up my camera, make sure the mic is on. Then I go to Ableton and duplicate my layers over a bunch of times. That way if I mess up, I can just keep going and I don't have to restart the recording. Then I press record on my camera, then record on Ableton. Once I get the layer properly recorded, I'll move my camera and then continue recording the layers. Then once I have everything recorded, I'll go ahead and export what I recorded. And um, number five, knowing how to sync your clips. What I mean by that is knowing how to sync your clips um, in the video editing program that you use. I currently use Final Cut Pro 10, but the same principles apply to any other video editing program. I'm gonna use the videos that I used for the collab that me and RMC did. So I'm gonna throw in the beat that I did with RMC then I'm gonna throw in his clips, sync the video with the music. Then I'm gonna repeat the process until I have all my clips synced. Okay, so we have the beginning of the song right here. And then we're gonna throw in the first clip. All right, we're gonna find out where the beat starts. It's right there, so we'll go ahead and zoom in, cut that, go to the beginning, and match it up. 
You can hear that's a little off. Cool, now that we have that synced, go ahead and sync the second clip. See where this one starts, go ahead and mute this again. Okay, so it starts right there. We see that the hit starts right there. And I'm gonna turn this on. Okay, so we hear that it's uh, in sync. And now we have both clips synced up. And um, when I'm editing this, I'll usually just like to cut every um, cut on beat. That's what we'll do the first cut. You know, something like that. Let it play for a little bit. Cut it there. Cut it there. You guys get the point. And that is going to conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy and found some value in this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Um, and if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please hit subscribe. I do upload videos on a weekly basis. Question of the day, which is not really a question, it's more of a call to action. If you're interested in collaborating with me, leave a comment down below. Um, I'm looking to do more collabs for the month of August. So if you're interested, leave a comment down below and also leave your Twitter or Instagram somewhere in the comments so I can check out your page and check out what you have to offer. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for paying attention. Please pay your producers and I'll see you guys in the next video.